the project was kind of divided into a number of sections in the initial stages, um, introduced through the story of Bran, um, leading on into various elements like the town walk, discovering the town and their environment through the walk. Now, when we looked at that, the story of Bran gave the potential of looking at trees, the how you might interpret that through drawing and painting. The main focus of this project was to come up with a more creative approach to a local history, a local studies project, which would include the oral arts, visual arts, creative writing, and give the children a chance to really immerse themselves in, uh, in their creative research into the past, uh, a reflection on the present, and a reimagining of the future of their own environment. Don't you know what they must have done? Right, well then, don't, you know, talk about it. Yeah. In fact, I think the building could fall down and that would just leave the shape of the building all made out of ivy, wouldn't it? Yeah. Anybody else got a different idea? I think they would like to see those there. I think it just... We asked them to look at what they had seen, or to, to think about what they had seen on the town walk. And discussing it, looked at various images, like the ones we pulled out of the folder there a few minutes ago. Um, and looked at how to interpret them through drawing and subsequently painting. You take children out to look at places that they see every day, but almost as if they're visitors, as if they're looking at them for the first time. And also maybe take a different viewpoint, maybe look up or look down, to notice details that they wouldn't otherwise see. And from that, it's almost like landscape archaeology. We begin to read the hidden past in the present. So following on from that, we did a bit of work on exploring textures and how you do textures in watercolour. And each of those elements related specifically to what Chris was doing. Well, first of all, we started with the teddy bear, which was Chris's uh, introduction, uh, looking at your toys and all that. And this is the teddy bear that I brought in as an example to you. But this time I've used some collage work to bring out the teddy bear more clearly. And children are very ready to write about their own memories and to share them with other people. The teddy bear is the starting point that can cause an explosion of memories. But as a youngster, as a child, a youngster at kind of whatever age, uh, fifth, sixth class kind of age group was primarily what we're dealing with, as they begin to find confidence and a voice uh, through drawing and painting, it gives them incredible, you might call it momentum, to kind of continue. There's a smaller one there. That's a good one. Try that one. And hold on to the flat one as well, because you might want that. How are the rest of your other brushes? Yeah, yours hasn't got a proper point. So that one will be, that one will be better, it's got a better point. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm just looking at the brushes. I think at the end of this very interesting pilot stage of the project, the children have been left with an awareness of how their own environment, where it came from, where it is now, how it will change in the future, that sense of past, present, the continuance and flowing of that river of time. What's that? Anybody want to stick their head in and have a look inside? There's a big hole. Don't go in there, just stick your head in. There's a big hole. There's a pillar here, it's quite a wide yeah, really And maybe the really importance of telling and recording our own stories that they're not lost, they don't disappear, that everyone has a story to tell, everyone has an image to share, and that these are what make up community.